what's uh what's uh what's 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 um what's poppin oh you beautiful retards and pretty gamer girls um today i um woke up got out of bed came up with a concept and made that concept and i don't know if it's been done before but so first we have this room actually wait no 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 there we go I'm better than this, okay? There we go. Now, to go. Yeah. Alright. Let's pretend all that never happened. And, um, basically I made this starting room because it felt kind of empty. I know this was made just to show off a concept, but I just wanted to flex my Doom skills on skills on all of you, but sadly that kind of backfired this time. So in this room, is like meat of the bar, the concepts I wanted to show all of you. It might have been done before, I'm not too sure, but here. You press this button, going up in two seconds, be patient. Yes indeed sir, this is an elevator. And this pops up actually, so you can go down. End up at will or ease. <laughs> so uh, there, there, there you have it. So um, now I'm gonna load up an an example log to show you how I how I made this epic epic machination. So, here's the tutorial part. If you're if you don't like nerd shit, then fucking leave, asshole. So, first thing you want to obviously do is create a fucking room. That's like you you you're on, you're literally brain dead if you don't like if you can't comprehend that. So, um you have this room, then you have the door, the sector for the doors. And you have the actual elevator itself and um, the destination console. So, I already set up two switches right here, but basically, you gotta set up something in the elevator to activate the elevator. If anything, it could be the door, and then it's just like a delay, and then so you can get in, and then it'll, it'll activate. But we're not doing that, we're just gonna have two switches. There are many ways you can activate it, and the way I would recommend is either the door method that I literally just pulled out of my ass just a second ago, or um, having like a like a switch right here raised out of the raised out of the ground, so then when they like press the switch, it lowers. They can't press it again, and it just goes without problem. But there is a chance that even if it lowers, the player might press space right on this line to have to to exploit but and break the map but um it's a lot harder to break the map if you had it like that than if you had it for say like a switch on the wall for example this switch on the wall so how it works is um i decided hey since most like doom kind of platforms especially in the original maps um are like this and then or in the original game that's what i meant to say so, and then you go in and then something happens this activates and just raises like that and then lowers back like that is kind of an elevator but at the same time it's not really an elevator not the ones you see in like hotels and shit like that and whatnot and just normal e elevators you see whenever elevators so what actually happens is that this raises up and down like that. The ceiling and floor raise simultaneously, which I, I think is pretty cool. So we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how you go about doing that, which depends on your map format. So there are tons of map formats if you already don't fucking know. And if you're mapping, and if you're a retard who's still mapping in, um, 
in the original Doom format, then get out of here, Grandpa. And if you're ma mapping in um, Hexen format, then stop. And um, UDMF is superior. That's what I'm trying to say. So this elevator works with like ACS scripts which are two at a time, but if you're so, still stubborn to map in a in a original Doom format, you would want, like, two things that activate them, so your best bet would be to, like, to have two line deaths that, like, activate at the same time. But we're not doing that. Again, we're using... We're, we're cool kids, so we're using ACS and UDMF. So you want this to action AD, script execute, and script numbers one and two. So this is going to raise it, and this is going to lower it. So, hashtag include the common.acs, that's how you, that's how you start a, a normal, normal ACS script, everyone should know that. So, your first script is gonna be void, script one void, unless you want this to happen as soon as you get into the map, like open or whatever, that doesn't matter, this is, this is an elevator tutorial, not an ACS tutorial. <laughs> So you want like to put that and then so yeah floor floor raised by value so this is for the one that's gonna like raise it so you want the f tag one for your sector speed this is gonna be a turbo elevator <laughs> night is gonna be three eighty four so ceiling raised by value this time I actually remember how to fucking spell ceiling I forgot the last take I took of this. Yes, I'd taken this multiple times. The first time I was on funny and it was over 15 minutes. The second time, you could barely hear my voice. And now, yeah. So anyway, um, basically you just want to save some time and copy paste this into that. Take out the bracket there. I didn't mean to put that. And then and you, and you want to change this to to lower by value. Crap. Um. There we go, lower by value. Bam, there we go. We created an elevator. I don't know. Uh, um, nice, nice. So, there we go. Uh, map saved. And now you want to, like, oh, wait. I always forget. I don't know why. I, I usually remember. I just forgot for this tutorial specifically. Make sure you tag your sector so the script actually knows which sector to freaking elevator. So. Nice. And then just load in the map like so and test it out. This one. This one goes up. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Alright. This one goes up. Yeah. So you, you get out of the ugly Star Team 2 room and into the superior Star 3 room. And actually, I can't even hear myself speak. Hold up. Alright, there we go. So, um... Yeah, this one goes down. And this one goes up. So down, and then... There you go. Uh, uh, pretend that, uh, pretend I never made that mistake. Up, and then bam. So it's simple as that. And now on to why these wall switches are merely an example. By the way, these are epic switch textures, just saying. Um, a better thing to do would be like how I did in the actual one with the switch rising up and going down. Well, because if you have an elevator, for example, I saw this one map, and I guess this concept has sadly been done before, and I'm not I'm not some cool pioneer, but, um, and this person made an elevator in where you could just press space anywhere inside the platform and it would go down, but that is a bad idea because, um, I ended up... <laughs> I ended up starting to break the map on purpose because I thought I was funny, and that it's like this. So you keep pressing it, and it it raises because this is a repeatable action. You keep just raising it. So for example, you can just lower it, and I ended up like lowering myself throughout the map, and I ended up breaking it. It was hilarious. Let's see. 
Um, so yeah, you can you can really get creative with different activations to, to prevent it. Maybe it can be like, and if you want to prevent this like sort of breakage altogether, you can make it like a one-use elevator. But that that kind of sucks. I mean, you could use it in certain situations like a one-use elevator, and that would actually be kind of cool. For example, like maybe it's an elevator into some sort of arena, so you, uh, which one was it again? So you do that, and then, <sighs> I always press the wrong one. So you press it, and then you, you enter, and then it's like, you know, that elevator isn't working anymore, so you kill all the men, and then the button reappears, and then you can press it, and yeah. Or I'm just stupid. And yeah, you could also have like something to shoot, I don't know, an enemy you kill, whatever. But... The important thing here is that it's, it's an elevator and it's cool. And um, while uh, while uh, messing with this a bit, I actually thought of an epic idea, and that would be since um, these doors on are, are on two opposite sides because floors can't be above bleh, floors can't be above floors in Doom unless you make rooms with 3D. You're, unless you're insane, all right. Um, you can't have rooms above rooms. You can have floors above floors tank thanks to 3D floors from UDMF, the, the superior format. I mean, you could also do free, 3D floors in Hexam format, I think, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, that's not relevant. Um, I was thinking, um, that, like, since that's on that side and that's on that side you could also raise it further so for example I do that and then there's a door right there and then I raise it more high and there's a door right there and then there's just four doors on all four sides of the room or and you can do a, a lot with that in fact maybe you can put different rooms in yeah you can do a lot you can do a lot with one simple elevator in fact you know what maybe you can make like someone can make a map where there's like Tons of rooms in one elevator. I, I hope no one does that before I do. Anyway, yeah, I think that kind of concept could actually lead to some really creative, really cool and creative maps. So yeah, there you go, kids. That's how you make a. That's how you make an elevator in Doom. Hooray! Hooray! Oh boy, I want to be. I want to be a virgin loser just like this guy when I grow up. Uh, I I I want to. I want to die a virgin. It. And not even kiss the girl at 45 years old. <laughs> Alright. Good night. Um, well, it's night for me. And actually, wait, no, it's 12. Okay, good morning. G good, good, good morning. Um, special. Uh, view, good, good morning and um, good day. Hope you have a very nice day today, you know. Hope, you, hope you've uh, learned something new, I guess. Good night.